This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are okay. We are heading to a palace today. A palace near Oxford, it's called Blendon Palace. It's been there quite a few times actually, but uh, I've got to go closer to the palace. I thought it might be interesting to make a video about it. We're basically going on the grounds itself, delivering the old port So uh So yeah, let's get, them, let's get them on and get them gone. So today we are taking one tank, two of these, and we've got some IBCs that are going on the back. There are going to be empty IBCs. We're just waiting for them to come on now. But here's the truck, looking glorious. Not too bad. It could do with a, a jet wash because there's a bit of dust on it in areas. But uh, overall, she's looking quite clean today, which is good. Today is Monday, so it's the best day to be clean. I normally clean it on a Friday. I normally clean it on a Friday, but actually this had to go to uh, Iveco for an inspection, which I do believe actually was on the last video. You saw me drop it off. Yeah, you did. I had to remember then. So this is like Monday now, the following, the following working day. Um, so yeah, not too bad. Could do with a proper clean, but I've gone round by hand and cleaned most of it off. But it would, do, it would do. Today and this week, it's supposed to be the hottest of the year. There's actually warnings out. I'm sweating already, I'm, I haven't really done much. And there's warnings out for being really, really super hot this week. So um, it's going to be, it's going to be a moist one, <laughs> but we'll see. Anyway, let's get these IBC strapped up. They're not uh, filled up, so you only need one strap, not two, before anyone says anything. So, like I said, they're not uh, filled up. They are empty, I can move my hand. Um, they've just been washed out, which is why there's some water dripping. So, one strap for each row. Yeah, there was that. So yeah, going that way over the bridge mm -hmm. and then turn left and turn right, you said, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, We're heading four and a look. So D12 or something? D12 near enough, yeah. Can we just take a picture of that? You want that one, do you? No, I can have that one. I can have that, can I? Yeah. Yeah, I know how to get in. It's just whereabouts in there you want me, I saw. for production as well, yeah? PTL for production. PTL production. For that identity, yeah? Because there's other shows going on there. Okay. There's like a flower show. Yeah. Yep. So like, Will do. You are logged on anyway because we had to get the red jersey and everything in there, yeah? Oh, did you? Right, Sat down saying I'll be there five past nine if I left now. Okay. Alright. Right, you see you there, bud. Right, let's put her in drive. We're gonna crack on. I don't know how much of that conversation I have put on, but. We're going to identity. Um, I'm not sure what identity is, but it's something that's happening at Blenheim Palace. There's a flower show going on. We're not going to the flower show. We're going to identity production. That is what I have been told. And uh, yeah, we've got to go in the back entrance, but I've, I've gone in the back entrance plenty of times because you've got to go through a farm. And I've collected from the farm a few times. You can make that. Yeah, I've collected from the farm a few times. Uh, bottled water, actually. Glass bottled water. So, um, yeah, when he, he goes, he got to go in the same Yeah, yeah, back entrance, yeah, yeah. <laughs> back entrance, just like back in the old days, you know. Well, the workers used to come through the back. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Anyway, we're going to crack on. I'm going to see you when we get a little bit closer. Like I said, we've got one tank on, two toilets, and um, one, two toilet box, and then three IPCs, which are empty. Right, I shall see you when we're a little bit closer. See you in a bit. Right, you join me outside the front of Blenheim Palace, but of course, we're not allowed to go in the front. So, we need to go around the back. Warning, the 
Lenin flower show. So we're not doing the flower show, we're doing something else. But I can't remember what he said. I said in this video, he said I need to say something, but I can't remember what he said now. Oops. PTL production, I remember that bit. But yeah, trucks aren't allowed to go into the front of um, the palace. Although I would fit through there. So we've got to go. We've got to go the back way. Got to go the back way. Yeah, so we've got to go a sort of good two miles around, basically. That is the way we've got to go on in. There's a golf garage. And uh, we turn left of the golf garage. Right, are these yellow signs anything we need to know about? No. No. Anyway, we turn left here at these sort of staggered crossroads. There's a sign that says blend of deliveries. Toilets for PTL. PTL? Yeah. Oh, he's just there. That's it. Um, yeah, come in and park there. Yeah. I'll get him to move around. Scott, I've just realised this guy's wearing a face mask. Cheers, mate. Right, so I guess we're just going to park up here for a sec and go on in in a moment, I guess. Right, we just had to book in, put the pass, put the registration on it, look and everything. Proper, making sure everything's legit here today. So this needs to go on my windscreen so everyone knows I'm supposed to be it. Right, so we've just been given the go-ahead to go on in. We've got to follow this lorry down and also our guys in front. And we've got to go on down to the bridge, I think it was. And then there's an escort from there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I know we've got, we've got a pass. We had to have a wristband and everything to get in. Um, it's like top level security, this. This is something you'd expect to see at Hyde Park when you know, delivering stuff for the Queen and King that we've done last year. But never mind. Uh, 
as I was saying on the way in, obviously it's a single track. This is the single track I was referring to. Um, so yeah, obviously they've all got walkie-talkies to say vehicles are coming up, vehicles are going down, etc. I don't have to wear my seatbelt because we're not on a public road, but the beeping is annoying, so it's going on. So we are following the purple route as well, which is to production. I don't actually know how long we're going to be here for because the guy who loaded me is also going to be the guy offering me. Like th li things like will the forklift be ready, for example? We don't know. <laughs> uh, we could be here waiting for a forklift. Who knows? But yeah, we follow this road in. It's about a mile track road on the way in, straight through all these fields. Then we get to the farm. Then we've got to go through the farm, which is where I've been in the past to get loaded with bottled water and then after that I've not been to Permanent before so we uh, have to go over the bridge the moat it's proper posh isn't it morning mate you right So normally it's here we get loaded with bottled water. And uh, yeah, I've not been further than this before myself. So this onwards is new to me. about single track <laughs> I think I'm not sure whether this is the way out or not um, if it is it makes sense why they got people in walkie-talkies like making sure everyone is keeping this clear because the last thing you want are trucks meeting each other so I expect during this little bit of single track path there's someone down there stopping vehicles are coming up whilst we come on down I guess it's going to be the same way back out again I would have thought Lovely fields though and views. I'll go slow for this pedestrian walk the dog. Thank you. Yeah, you can go for a lovely walk down here, can't you, with your dog? This is well and truly the back entrance though, isn't it? We've done a lot of driving. We're not even there yet. I think we're just about to go over the bridge, just around this corner. Ah, oh, that's a stunning view. There's the palace, the back end of it anyway. That is a lovely view. Gorgeous.
want to make right? Yeah, just one over, yeah. He said just follow him, but I'm not sure we're going to the same place. We're not with the same company. The one down here. That is a lovely view though, man. That's a, an amazing view. So, I guess this is open to public, like anyone can just come here and walk on these grounds, I guess, I don't know. There's a lot, of, well, not a lot, there's a few people out and about walking around with dogs, etc. Now, I think I need to take a right-hand turn here, but I don't know if this escort is taking me down there or not. Yeah, we'll do. Right, if they want me to park up behind, uh, sorry, beside this uh, blue one, so we need to spin around to do that. far back as him because we've got a block back in so I'm only watching his back. Because there was there was okay, watch back. There was um bit of a block there, someone's just recognised me. But um yeah we managed to stop. Thank you. Thank you very much mate, appreciate that. How you doing right? Yeah, not bad. It's not bad, is it? Yeah, you find it alright. Yeah, it's not bad. Have a good day, mate. Right. Yeah, someone someone else just recognised me. What was that guy doing? There's a guy over there on his knees with his hands behind his head like he's been handcuffed. Let's see. Let's see if I can quickly get it on camera. <laughs> It's like he's being arrested. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we're here. We're here. We're um. Well, I don't know what we've got to do now. We're um just going to wait for someone to come and collect us and tell us where to be, and then we we'll go from there. Be that window open. It's too up. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Right, we're in. We're taking the straps off. I've also just been told that one of the reasons why the security is so high here is because it's something to do with government, Sunak, Sunak, whatever his name is, supposedly coming with other world leaders to discuss immigration or something, so I've been told. And uh, apparently it's happening on the 18th of July, which is um, after the election, so whether or not he's actually going to be Prime Minister or not, I don't know, but yeah, seems, seems a bit odd. Okay, all the straps are off now, so we are ready to be offloaded. You can see the palace just over there, look. Right in front of the palace. So, some toilets already been delivered. And there we are. Right, it's starting to come off. Oh. 
Uh, go a bit more if you want. Yep. Lovely. She's down. Next one coming off. Yeah. And there we go, final one to come off now. Get this tank off. And that would be good to go. I think we've got to reverse out, spin around there to the left and then go on out, but I'm not sure. Right, we are now tipped, so we're gonna jump back in, jump back in the truck and we've got to get on out of here. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Probably the best bet, isn't it? Yeah. Cheers, mate. Yeah. See you later, Simon. Right. So we're on our way out now. We do have a bank to watching us back. Cheers, mate. Right, now I think we've got to go out a different way. Thank you, cheers. I don't think we go out the way we come in, but I don't know the way out. get a little bit um, nervous when they tell you to turn right and then you start turning left. The reason I'm turning left is so that I can make the right hand turn. So uh, he is. We're going to head on out of here now. Hopefully it's just straight out to the main road, I, I guess. I'm not actually totally sure if you ask me. I would have thought that was the case. Right, this person here isn't looking at me, telling me where to go or anything. So I shall just go straight on. I guess this is the way out. Ward Garden. Ah, oh, yeah, I see a sign now saying exit, so I think this is the way out.
But yeah, I mean, this is a beautiful place. It's actually really nice, not gonna lie. That lake as well was, was really pretty, really pretty lake. Am I supposed to go out this way? Because those trees are very, very low. They definitely said go out this way. And we're gonna be quite close to this. I'm sure we will get out okay, but it's a little bit <laughs> narrower than I was expecting. Get on out of here. Lovely, we need to take a left. Clear to the left, clear to the right. Let's go. Straight out. Straight out of there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, so, I've also you know, given this band as well, but anyway. We've, um, we've now got to go to Coventry. We've got to do two loads to uh, Kingsbury, which is a place I'm not allowed to record at. So I may get a little bit of footage of what we've got on, potentially, but uh, I'm not entirely sure what exactly I can film. So, for now, I'm going to say bye and uh, I will see you a little bit later with some additional footage hopefully. But yeah, that was interesting. It was nice to go fully into Blending Palace, which I've uh, never done before. So yeah, happy days. Anyway, I shall see you later on in the day or maybe even another day, I don't know. But I'll see you for a bit. See you in a bit, bye-bye. Right, I said I was going to try and film some stuff and uh, here we are. So we are taking this um, stuff to be recycled. Uh, at a place about an hour away but that particular place we're going to I'm, I know I'm not allowed to film in uh, it's bloody warm today uh, we've got to come back here again tomorrow as well and pick up some more stuff and we've got to do some stuff in between as well but uh, yeah I said I'll try and do a little bit of filming here uh, and there we go so that's what we're picking up some scrap metal to be recycled right Jump in the truck. Shoes off. I need to stop at services and get a drink because I've run out and I'm so hot. Really hot. Woo. Anyway, um, I'm gonna crack on. I'll see you a little bit later on today. We're definitely doing night out as well tonight, so uh, I'll see you when we're parked up at, at the very latest. See you in a bit. Hello, everybody. It's the next day. We're at Lincoln Farm. Um, sorry I couldn't film much yesterday and to be honest with you it's the same case today as well uh, just places I'm going I'm not allowed to actually uh, record anyway there's the truck like I said we're parked up in Lincoln Farm just to have a quick break um, yeah she's looking clean today which is good so yeah I just want to give you like a bit of a an update as to <laughs> what's happened so yesterday obviously we did that festival stuff at the um, palace. From there, we had to go and pick up some recycled um, product and uh, take that to Kingsbury. From Kingsbury, we then had to go to a BMW plant. We're not allowed to film in the BMW plant at all. And then I had to take that to be recycled as well. Um, and that is what we're about to go and do today now as well. So <laughs> I'll see you um, one last time probably when we're at the next delivery, uh, sorry, the next collection, because we're gonna get a load of metal to be recycled and it's not like a big company so i'm going to film that and then i'm probably gonna to have to end the video there because we've got to do the same after that as what we did today and then i just can't film it so yeah i mean the whole point of this video anyway was the palace that is why i started recording um to film the palace so hopefully you've enjoyed it nonetheless but i'm gonna crack on gotta go and uh, go and get loaded and get on with the day because uh well there's been a lot of waiting around, hanging around in places, and it's meant that we've, we're losing time, basically. It's not good, but I need to stop here for a break, so. Yes. I know, I'm gonna go, and I shall see you in a little while. See you in a bit. Right, we're at the next place. And I'm hot. <laughs> we're getting loaded with these machines here, but. Um, yeah. Some sort of milling machine. Some bearers, we've got three straps going over. Only weighs a couple of tons, the so three straps is perfectly fine. Yeah. Might put another one on before I go just to be safe. 
Right. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm losing track of time myself, right? So I'm, I'm going to try and explain to you some of what's happened, right? So yesterday, done the, the palace job. And then from yesterday, I've had to do for basically four deliveries of recycling. Um, I got loaded yesterday on the first one, and then I delivered the first one today. I got the other ones loaded and delivered as well. We're actually delivering the final one now, but I can't film it, otherwise I would show you. I've got a big massive claw going inside the truck. <laughs> um, as you can see, I'm very hot and very sweaty. The aircon is packed in in this truck. It's intermittent. One minute it works, next minute it doesn't. It's 30 degrees. I know I've got like uh, Australian viewers watching going, crikey, 30. <laughs> it's like, that's really bad. 30 degrees, that's winter, isn't it, compared for them? Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's warm, it's warm. Anyway, I've just had a little bit of good news. From here, we're going straight back to the yard. I'm in Birmingham, I should probably say. Um, and that's what I've, where I've been for, for the last 24 hours, it's backwards and forwards in Birmingham. Birmingham, Solihull, and near Tamworth, around that area, backwards and forwards. Um, but I've just been uh, given the green light to go back to the yard now. Yeah, that. That's, I've got like metal crates. I can describe what I've got on. It's like metal stillages crates, double stacks, all the way along the bed of the trailer. And they're using like a, a hook to, to pinch it, grab it, pick it up and take it away. Um, two of them have fallen over. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going we're gonna to go back to the yard. So what I'm going to do is I will see you back in the yard as well so I can finish it off nicely. Show you the truck as well. Oh gosh, it's cold. The aircon has stopped working, mostly when I'm stationary. When I'm moving, it, it works a little bit. And obviously I can have the windows open as well. But yeah, it's warm. It's very warm. I want to go in and have a very nice cold shower is what I want to do. <laughs> anyway, I will see you. Okay, we're back in the yard. We are back in the yard. It's been a busy sort of 48 hours. It's very warm out. Oh, glad to be back in the yard now. Um, we can go and... Uh, Go home and relax. Gonna go and have a nice cold shower. Uh, where, <laughs> where we just was, they've uh, they've actually accidentally damaged the truck. Let me show you. So first thing, firstly, the first thing I noticed was uh, was this. The claw that they used to pick it up is obviously went a bit too deep and broke that. The second thing I noticed was this. Hub, um, the wheel nut cover is broken, and then on closer inspection, I saw that. Scratch the alloy there. Where was it? Oh, so it was somewhere else as well. Uh, yeah, there, look. You see there? All in the same area, there, and there, and there. Oh, and that one as well. It's actually, oh, and that one. That's three broke. I only, <laughs> I only knew it was one that was broke. It's actually bloody three. Yeah, so they've stayed on. But I'm obviously gonna have to buy some more. One, two, three. So that was nice of them to, to do that. Basically what it was is there was cages on there and they picked it up and they were dropping all down the side of the trailer as well. And they've obviously hit the alloy. Now, obviously I've reported it to the boss who's reported it to the people we were doing the work for. I also reported it to the guys and the girls who were in the Weybridge at the time. They come out and took photos as well. But yeah, a little bit annoying. A bit annoying. Anyway, it's, uh, it's five o'clock, I'm going home. Go home and have a nice cold shower. Didn't have one yesterday because uh, I was parking on a lay-by. Wet white wash. Now I feel dirty. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've appreciated it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I appreciate you watching. Um, yeah, like I said, most of it was to do with the, uh, the palace delivery. So it was good to go there. It was actually really good good views, beautiful views. That was yesterday morning now for me. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.